Good day everyone! Today let's talk about the research plan or the project summary in accordance with the international standard. A research plan should be done first before doing your research study. And these are the parts. On the upper part of your research paper is your research title, written in bold, and the beginning words are capitalized. Below the research title is the author. If there are two or more authors, you separate the authors with a comma. Part A of your research plan is the rationale. Include here a brief synopsis of the background that supports your research problem and explain why this research is important and if applicable, explain any societal impact of your research. And here's a guide in writing the rationale of your study. Introduce the general area to be addressed and use the description to create a sense of interest in the topic. Reveal the real problems and show why it is urgent to solve them. You may use factual data obtained from researchers' observation or quoted from valid references in order to support the urgency of carrying out studies to solve the problem. You may include here the relevant results of previous research. The last paragraph should bring up a very strong foundation of the rationale of the study. And discussion should be deductive from macro to micro concepts leading to the problem or leading to your research problem. Likewise, citing some references and sentences from published materials should be limited up to three references only because there is a room for related literature, not in the background of the study. Moreover, third-person pronouns should be used, like he, she, it, they. Part B includes the research questions, hypothesis, engineering goals, and expected outcomes. So, how is this based on the rationale described in your study? So, all of this should be related to your rationale. Under part B is we have the research question or research questions if there are two or more questions. And take note, it is numbered as B.1. Then, make an introductory statement like this study will answer the following questions. So, we use the word will answer simply because that this is or you are still making the research plan. And then, if there are two or more research questions, so you may number them as B.1.1, B.1.2, etc. Another part under part B is a hypothesis singular hypothesis plural and take note that it is numbered as B.2 then your hypothesis should be numbered as B.2.1 B.2.2 and many more we also have engineering goal singular engineering goals plural under part B so it is numbered as B.3 so in here you have to explain the importance of your product design you may include its sketch in exterior and interior view with labels include also the expected outcome or expected outcomes of your research plan and it is numbered as B.4 and then enumerate them by numbering B.4.1, B.4.2, etc. Part C is the methodology. So in here, you have to describe in detail the parts of your methodology. This includes the materials and it is numbered as C.1. Include here all the materials and their quantity. Another part of the methodology is the procedure and it is numbered as C.2. So in here, you have to detail all procedures and experimental design including the methods for data collection and when applicable, the source of data used. If you will 
use published surveys, questionnaires, or tests, describe how you obtain this, including the required permission, if applicable. Setups is also part of the methodology, and it is numbered as C.3. So include all the setups of your study, including the control and experimental setups. Risk and safety is also part of the methodology and it is numbered as C.4. So in here, you have to identify any potential risks and safety precautions needed when conducting your experiment or your research study. Another part is the data analysis and it is numbered as C.5. So in here, you have to describe the techniques for your data analysis. Explain why the techniques are appropriate for the nature of your data to be collected and for addressing your research questions. Table of analysis, you may also include here. Part D of your research plan is the bibliography. Remember to use the APA Style 7th edition. Include here all your in-text citations and references related to your study. Don't forget to alphabetize them according to author's surname. To sum it up, your research plan should look like this. Everything should be written in a continuous form. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. For more information, you may visit the reference listed on our screen. And of course, credits are given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day!